guys, welcome back. I'm going to tell you a wee trick pattern. Um, this one's a variation on a fly uh, called the Peterson's Pinnell. Now, the hook in the vise is a size 10 uh, Camazon B175. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is a uni thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in and we'll get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run a bit of thread down just until I'm in, just slightly coming onto the bend of the hook and then remove the, the waist tag of thread. Uh, just come in and trim that wee excess away there. Now, the tag is a, you can use a silver holographic tinsel, um, which is what I'm going to use, or you could use uh, just a plain silver tinsel. So that's the holographic tinsel there in large. Get this stuff. You should be able to get that stuff off any of your fly shops, but I think it is a vineyard product. Now, I'm just going to come in and catch in my holographic tinsel. Stretch it, this out over the bend of the hook, and then I'm just going to work my thread down. Open turns just a couple of mil, and then back up again on the position there. Now, you got to protect this, so you can use super glue in this case, varnish, UV resin, but just for the purposes of the video and just for speed I'm just going to use the super glue. Now I'm just going to work my tinsel up, just back up to meet my thread, I follow this around with my thread and get a 3-4 turns in, it's plenty, and catch that in, then just come in and trim away the waist tag of the silver tinsel. Now the tail on the fly is de goose feather dyed yellow. Now, just looking a just a wee slip off the goose. Just get the tips to line up. And you can have the tail as long or short as you like. I'm just going to have the tail we're going to break the length of the body. Just going to come around with a pinch and loop. Just catch it in. And then we can come in and trim this away, the length of the body. The rib on the fly is going to be a UTC wire in silver. This is a small. A wee length off here. So we'll just catch this in and then just don't need to be too fussy. The body's going to be dubbed. Just work your thread up hanging your rib and the cut ends of the, the goose feather. Just come on back at open turns. Just tied up against my tail. Now you could use black seals fur. I'm just going to use black SLF. And the reason why I'm using the SLF is it has wee flax of uh, Fane UV fly to it. It's really lovely stuff. I do like the SLF. Now, just dub it on, slide that up. Just come round, get your turn started, your tail, and then just work the dubbing up the length of the body. Now the body haggle, you can use a black Chinese cock haggle. This is just a a black uh, cock saddle haggle that I'm using. So I'm just gonna Nice wee feather off here. Just remove the rubbish from the bottom. Strip some of the fibres away to burn the stem. Offer this up to the hook. Just come round. A couple of turns will catch that in. Come in and trim away the tag end of the stem. Now, I like to get two, three turns going at the shoulder of the fly, meaning the the top of the body and then three turns or so down the body to there. Now keep the hold of your haggle tip, don't let it go. Just come in with your silver wire, catch in your haggle, the remainder of your haggle and then you're looking four turns of the silver wire up the body. 
keeping the hold of your wire, don't let it go. Slide everything that's going forward to the eye back, bring your wire up in front. Follow this around with your thread. Any wee fibers that are going forward, just pull them back. I like to run the thread tying on the wire right down to the eye. And then come in and bend and break away the wire. You can come in and break away your tip of your haggle. Sweep everything back again and bring your thread back up to the where your haggle, where you started your haggle off. Now at this stage I'm just going to come in with a wee bit of felt row on my lollipop stick. I'm just brushing out, bring out some of that SLF into the wee pattern. We're not looking too bad, we're looking grand. The front haggle on the original pattern, um, it was a peacock, peacock knack feather that was used. Now, I'm just, just going to use this. This is just a green, a green hen, nice bright green hen uh, cape that I have. And I'm just going to stroke the fibers back to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook. All you do is just come around with one turn. That's your turn, that'll hold it for you. Take another three turns to secure it in. Fold the tip back. And then bring your thread back up over your tip and your hackle. Come in and locate the tip. You can break it away. And then you're just looking turns of hackle, one in front of the other. And the turns are up to you. Now, sort of way depends on the fibres, the two turns of the green, because green's not everybody's cup of tea um, on flies. To there, two's going to be enough. Follow this around with my thread. A couple of tight turns in there, just want to check the haggle stem. It's thin enough, so I'm just going to strip away the the fibers just come in and fold the stem of the haggle back and bring my thread back up over the stem of the haggle nice and tight keeping your thread tight don't let it go you can break that away now we're not on ground now you can finish the wee flat that the wee fly doesn't require jungle cock but I have loads of split ones like this and we're just going to use this. So I'm just going to offer this up under the hook. Just come around with a loose turn and then tighten up. Because at times the jungle cock will have a tendency to, to move on you. So just take your time. At this point, just come in and lift your remain to your jungle cock eye up. Nice pair of sharp scissors here. And come in and trim away the the remainder of the eye. Right. Just make sure you get a nice clean cut. Not the way I've done here. Because when you go to tie this in you don't want any wee fibers uh, hanging over the front of your eye. So just come up bring your thread to the eye and then just build up your head nice neat head on the wee fly up to there take that wee fibre away and then all that's left for you to do is to come in and throw in a whip finish Put a wee bit of a shape into the head as well, at the same time. Pull your tan thread tight. Come in, trim away your, your tan thread. Now just to finish off, just a wee coat of clear varnish. Just the, right, the whole way right round. Just to make sure that the eye is clean. Have an old 
wee feather on my desk here. Just slip it through the, the eye. Put it through just to make sure it's clean. So there you go guys. That's just a very much the same colour combination um, as uh, Peterson's Pinel tail tag. Uh, same colour body with the haggle. Just changing out the, the haggle at the front to a, to a green hen haggle. So look guys, tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. I know I say that all the time, but I do, I do appreciate it. And if you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. Helps the wee channel out. And until next time folks, stay safe and take lanes. Okay guys, the next wee uh, video up on the channel is this wee pattern here. And this is a wee spider pattern called Fiona.